Hi, I'm going to take a few minutes to explain how you can get your title block in SOLIDWORKS Electrical. On your title block manager, simply start off by importing an existing DWG of your title block and follow the import wizard. We would recommend you have dimensions to scale before you begin the import process. In the example, we import an ANSI B size 1117 and ensure the units are set to Imperial. The import wizard allows you to customize and assign attributes along the import process. Now a few things are required in any schematic title block. Rows, column information, project specific attributes, company logo. Let's begin by selecting an attribute from the left hand panel. Once the row attribute is added and we use the array features to populate the remainder, we set the number of rows at 18 with a spacing of half an inch and the number of columns at two with a spacing of eight inches. It will be important to set properties for the first row position, row height, number of rows, similar setup for columns and properties. As a best practice, we recommend setting the snap and grid according to your company standards and component pin spacing. Assigning the description, setting the title block is all required as a part of setting up your specific library. To wrap this up, we're going to add drawing sheet and description to attribute from the left hand panel. No title block is complete without a company logo, so let's import a bitmap and scale it such that it fits our sheet. Once your work is completed, save it and test within a project. The rows will appear sequentially in the two columns if the setup is accurate. Hope you learned how to set up your title block in SOLIDWORKS Electrical. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Javan Technologies. Thank you for watching this.